Trevor Burbick was a professional boxer who competed from 1976 to 2000. He won the WBC heavyweight title in 1986 by defeating Pinklon Thomas, then lost it in his first defense that same year to Mike Tyson. Burbick was the last boxer to fight Muhammad Ali, defeating him in 1981 by unanimous decision. On the 28th of October, 2006, Burbick was murdered at a church in Norwich, Jamaica by two assailants wielding a steel pipe. He sustained repeated blows to the head and died at the scene. Police arrested two men, one of whom was Burbick's 20-year-old nephew, Harold Burbick. Apparently, they were involved in a land dispute. Both men were charged with his murder and sentenced to life in prison. Will Smith, a talented athlete, made his mark in the National Football League, NFL, as an American football defensive end. Hailing from Ohio State University, the New Orleans Saints selected Smith in the first round during the 2004 NFL draft. Smith played his entire career with the Saints until his retirement in 2015. On April 9, 2016, the former New Orleans Saints defensive end, Will Smith, tragically lost his life in a road rage shooting incident. This devastating event occurred after a traffic collision in New Orleans. Adding to the tragedy, Will Smith's wife was also wounded in the shooting. The perpetrator of this senseless act, Cardell Hayes, was later convicted of manslaughter and attempted manslaughter. As a result of his actions, Hayes received a sentence of 25 years in prison. Steve McNair, known as Air McNair, was a highly accomplished professional football player primarily recognized for his exceptional skills as a quarterback in the National Football League, NFL. He dedicated 13 seasons to the sport, notably playing for the Houston Oilers before their relocation to Nashville, where they became the Tennessee Oilers. After a successful career, Steve McNair retired from professional football following the conclusion of the 2007 NFL season. On July 4, 2009, the world was shocked by the tragic and untimely death of Steve McNair, at the young age of 36, his life was cut short in a devastating incident that left many grieving. It is a heartbreaking story that unfolded when his girlfriend, Saleh Kazimi, discovered his infidelity and took drastic measures. In a moment of despair, she shot McNair twice in the chest before turning the gun on herself, tragically ending both their lives. Lyman Bostock, a talented outfielder, had a relatively short but impactful career in Major League Baseball. He played for four seasons, showcasing his skills as a member of the Minnesota Twins and California Angels. Bostock's lifetime average of 311 speaks volumes about his ability to consistently perform at the plate. What made Bostock stand out even more was his unique batting style. He batted left-handed while throwing right-handed. Lyman Bostock's untimely death September 23, 1978, at the age of 27, sent shockwaves through the baseball world. Tragically, he was shot by a jealous husband who mistook him for his wife's lover. The shooter, Leonard Smith, escaped legal consequences as he was found not guilty by reason of insanity and spent only seven months in a psychiatric hospital. His death prompted changes in Indiana's law regarding the guilty but mentally ill plea. Sean Taylor was an American football free safety for the Washington Redskins of the National Football League. He was selected fifth overall in the 2004 NFL Draft by the Washington Redskins, where he played four seasons. Unfortunately, his promising career was tragically cut short when he was murdered in 2007. In a tragic turn of events during the 2007 season, Sean Taylor was shot by intruders at his home. Sadly, he passed away the following day on November 27th. In 2008, Washington's football team inducted Sean Taylor into their prestigious Ring of Fame. Furthermore, in 2021, Washington took another step to honor Taylor's memory by retiring his jersey number 21. Vernon Forrest was an American professional boxer who competed from 1992 to 2008. He held multiple world championships in two weight classes, including the WBC, IBF, Ring Magazine, and Lineal Welterweight between 2002 and 2003, and the WBC Super Welterweight title twice between 2007 and 2009. In a tragic incident that shook the sports world, Vernon Forrest 
a renowned professional boxer, met an untimely demise in 2009. He was brutally murdered after being robbed at a gas station located in the Mechanicsville neighborhood of Atlanta, Georgia. Dino Bravo had a fascinating career in the world of professional wrestling. During his career, Bravo competed in various promotions such as WWE, then known as WWF, and Stampede Wrestling. He was known for his powerlifting background and often showcased his strength inside the ring. Fans were captivated by his larger-than-life persona and memorable matches. Despite his success in the wrestling industry, Bravo's life took a dark turn. In 1993, he was found murdered at the age of 44 in his home in Laval, Quebec. The circumstances surrounding his death remain mysterious to this day. Darren Williams was a talented American football player who made a name for himself as a member of the Denver Broncos in the National Football League, NFL. Hailing from Fort Worth, Texas, Williams honed his skills during his time at Oklahoma State University before being selected by the Broncos in the second round of the 2005 draft. On Monday, January 1st, 2007, tragedy struck when Williams tragically lost his life at just 24 years old. In a heartbreaking turn of events, he fell victim to a drive-by shooting that occurred around two in the morning. The incident unfolded as another vehicle pulled up beside his rented Hummer H2 limousine in downtown Denver, Colorado, and unleashed a hail of bullets. Hector Camacho, commonly known by his nickname Macho Camacho, was a professional boxer. Camacho competed professionally from 1980 to 2010 and was a world champion in three weight classes. He held the WBC Super Featherweight title from 1983 to 1984, the WBC Lightweight title from 1985 to 1987, and the WBO Junior Welterweight title twice between 1989 and 1992. On November 20th, 2012, around 7 p.m., 50-year-old Camacho was shot once in the jaw while sitting in a car on Puerto Rico Highway 167 in Bayamon. Camacho was seated in the passenger seat of a friend's Ford Mustang when he was shot by unknown individuals from a passing SUV. The driver of the car, Adrian Mojica Moreno, Camacho's childhood friend, also died in the attack. Camacho would die later that night in the hospital. No one was ever arrested. Lorenzen Wright was an American professional basketball player for 13 seasons in the National Basketball Association. He was drafted seventh overall in the 1996 NBA draft by the Los Angeles Clippers and played for the Atlanta Hawks, Memphis Grizzlies, Sacramento Kings, and Cleveland Cavaliers. In a tragic turn of events, former NBA player Lorenzen Wright met a devastating end in July 2010 at the young age of 34. His life was cut short when his body was discovered riddled with bullets. The investigation into his untimely death took a chilling twist when it was revealed that his ex-wife had been involved in hiring a hitman to carry out the heinous act. The subsequent legal proceedings led to both individuals being convicted and sentenced to life in prison. Fred Lane was signed as an undrafted free agent by the Panthers before the 1997 NFL season. He had a remarkable rookie season, setting several franchise records, many of which still stand today. After three years, Lane was traded to the Indianapolis Colts shortly before his death. On July 6, 2000, Fred's wife, Deidre Lane, shot him as he entered their home. His keys were still in the lock and he had been shot twice with a 12-gauge shotgun once in the chest and a second time in the back of the head, apparently at point-blank range. His wife pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter in 2003. Oscar Natalio Ringo Bonavena, a legendary heavyweight professional boxer, was known for his rugged and wild swinging punches. Oscar earned the nickname Ringo due to his Beatles-style haircut. He is best remembered for his epic battles against two boxing icons, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali. On May 22, 1976, heavyweight boxer Oscar Bonavina met a devastating end. At the young age of 33, he was shot dead by a security guard at the infamous Mustang Ranch brothel near Reno, Nevada. 
This unfortunate incident occurred as a result of a conflict that had arisen between Bonavina and the owner of the establishment. Andres Escobar, a talented Colombian soccer player, had a promising career that unfortunately met a tragic end. He represented the Colombia national team in the 1994 FIFA World Cup. However, his name became synonymous with one fateful moment. During a match against the United States, Escobar scored a goal on his own team that ultimately contributed to Colombia's elimination from the tournament, and his murder is believed to be a direct result of this goal. Ten days after that fateful game, on the early morning of July 2, 1994, Andres Escobar was confronted by a group of men outside a club in his hometown, Medellin, the second largest city in Colombia. The men taunted Escobar for scoring on his own team. Then one of the men shot Escobar six times. A man was arrested the next day and charged for the murder. Peter Savage was a prominent figure in alpine ski racing and was a member of the U.S. ski team on the World Cup circuit in the late 1960s. He was part of the 1968 Winter Olympics and truly made a name for himself as he claimed back-to-back -back titles as the pro ski racing champion in both 1971 and 1972. On Sunday, March 21, 1976, tragedy struck when professional skier Spider Savage was shot by his live-in girlfriend, singer-actress Claudine Longer. The incident was described as an accidental shooting, but it led to a legal battle that captured public attention. Longjet was charged with murder and stood trial for her actions. However, the jury ultimately convicted her of negligent homicide instead. The sentencing resulted in a small fine and a 30-day jail term. Yvonne Calderon Perez had an impressive career as a professional baseball outfielder. From 1984 to 1993, he played in Major League Baseball, MLB, for four different teams. His skills and contributions to the game were recognized when he was named an All-Star in 1991. On December 27, 2003, tragedy struck when Yvonne Calderon Perez was shot multiple times in the head and back at Point Blank Range. This horrific incident took place after an argument at a bar in Loiza, Puerto Rico. Sadly, his murder remains unsolved to this day. Greg Hallman was a talented professional baseball outfielder who made a name for himself in the world of Major League Baseball, MLB. He showcased his skills as a member of the Seattle Mariners during the 2010 and 2011 seasons. In addition to his contributions to MLB, Hallman also represented the Dutch national team in the prestigious 2009 World Baseball Classic. On November 21, 2011, tragedy struck when Greg Hallman lost his life at the young age of 24. He died from blood loss in Rotterdam due to a laceration to his carotid artery. The circumstances surrounding his death were deeply unsettling, as it was revealed that Greg's own brother, Jason Hallman, was arrested for the murder. According to reports, the incident stemmed from an argument that erupted between Greg and Jason over loud music. This disagreement tragically escalated into a stabbing that ultimately claimed Greg's life. In a turn of events on August 30, 2012, a Dutch court formally acquitted Jason of the charges against him. The grounds for this acquittal were based on temporary insanity. Cornelius Johannes Corey Sanders, a renowned South African professional boxer who was active from 1989 to 2008, one of his most notable achievements came in 2003 when he claimed the WBO heavyweight title in a stunning victory against the formidable Vladimir Klitschko. In a tragic turn of events, Corey Sanders lost his life on the 23rd of September 2012. He was fatally shot during a robbery at a restaurant while bravely shielding his 15-year-old daughter, who thankfully escaped unharmed. Brian Spencer was selected by the Toronto Maple Leafs in the fifth round of the 1969 NHL entry draft, 55th overall. He began his professional career with Toronto and later joined the New York Islanders before ultimately being acquired by the Buffalo Sabres. On June 3, 1988, tragedy struck when Brian Spencer lost his life in a fatal shooting. The incident occurred in Riviera Beach, Florida, during a robbery that took a devastating turn following a drug deal gone wrong. John McClain had an impressive career 
as a professional baseball catcher from 1901 to 1915. Throughout his years in Major League Baseball, he played with five different teams. McLean started his career with the Boston Americans, now known as the Boston Red Sox, and his final professional game was played with the New York Giants on June 6, 1915, marking the end of an era for this talented catcher. On March 24, 1921, tragedy struck in Boston when McLean, after a night of unruly behavior, was shot by the manager of a saloon. The events leading up to this unfortunate incident began when McLean chased a bartender out of the establishment. Later that night, upon his return to the saloon, McLean took offense when the manager refused to provide him with a cigarette. Uh, according to reports, it was alleged that McLean attempted to crawl over the bar with the help of his friend Jack McCarthy. In response to this perceived threat, the manager fired a gunshot. Tragically, McLean did not survive and was pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. McCarthy also suffered injuries and was hospitalized with a gunshot wound to his stomach. The bartender James J. Connor was arrested for murder. He was later sentenced to just one year in prison for shooting McLean. Dennis Tan was the 2014 Olympic bronze medalist, a two-time world medalist, silver in 2013, bronze in 2015, the 2015 Four Continents champion, the 2017 Winter Universiade champion, and a five-time national champion of Kazakhstan. Ten was murdered at the age of 25. According to reports, on July 19, 2018, Ten got into a confrontation in Kazakhstan with a group of people attempting to steal a mirror from his car. When the argument turned violent, Ten was tragically stabbed to death. Two men were later arrested and charged with his murder.